I'm here on College Green in Westminster, the centre of a media frenzy because today's the big day, Gordon Brown has finally called an election. I can even hear the helicopter overhead that's been following the progress of the, the Prime Ministerial car to the palace. And, and the first thing I want to say to uh, people in South of Surrey who've given me my job for the last five years is it's been an incredible privilege to represent you. Uh, when you chose me to be your MP back in 2005, you wanted someone who was going to campaign on local issues, and we've had some tremendous victories there, uh, saving the Royal Surrey from the closure, saving Milford Hospital, fighting for community beds, Hazelmere Hospital, uh, making sure the A3 tunnel gets built on time, lots of action uh, to try and uh, make the centre of Farnham more family-friendly and greener. Um, but this election is going to be about change at a national level. And I've always known that you wanted me to campaign for change nationally as well as locally. And the choice the country has is whether they want five more years of Gordon Brown or whether they want a new team with fresh ideas led by David Cameron. And I thought the contrast between what we heard from Gordon Brown and David Cameron this morning was very telling because Gordon Brown's speech was basically a very pessimistic speech. He was saying, you know, we may be awful, but the other lot are even worse. And from David Cameron, we had a positive vision putting the NHS at the heart of Conservative priorities and also saying he's going to get rid of this jobs tax, the tax on national insurance which will put hundreds of thousands of people out of work. Um, big contrast there and what we have to say to the country is look, if you're angry about a government that promised an end to boom and bust and gave us the worst recession in the developed world, if you're angry about a government that promised to be prudent and has doubled our national debt, if you're angry about a government that promised to invest in public services and has left the country facing savage cuts in public services, if you're angry about a government that said it was going to protect the poorest and that introduced uh, abolition of the 10p tax rate, hurting those very same people, now is the chance you can do something about it. There is a different way. David Cameron's never promised it's going to be easy. It's going to be very, very tough. But we live in a great country and we want to set about doing what we can to put it back on its feet. Thank you for the support you've given me over the last five years. Um, I have always believed that I have to earn every single vote in South West Surrey. And I'll be doing the same over the next four weeks of this campaign. Um, and looking forward as well to engaging in the debate at the national level.